They call it part of the fourth industrial revolution. One of the features of this fourth industrial revolution is that it doesn't change what we are doing, but it changes us. The very idea of human being some sort of natural concept is really going to change. Up until now, the conversation we've been having is around freedom of speech. Once we can access people's thoughts and access people's emotions. The focus, as all of you know, today is on what's now called the Internet of Bodies, involving medical implants and other kinds of devices that go inside your body and all together with the Internet as a whole comprise the Internet of Bodies. The Internet of Bodies, or IOB, is, um, is actually an ecosystem. It's a bunch of devices that are connected to the Internet that contain software and that either collect personal health data about you or can alter the body's function. We think of the Internet of Bodies as this collection of all these devices as well as all the data that the devices are gathering about you. And in healthcare, its Internet of Bodies has, has been around for quite a while. So the Internet of Bodies, um, imagine the power of AI. What is artificial intelligence? It's a way to automate computation and cognition. So we can now automate learning perceiving, uh, doing computation. It's a pervasive general purpose technology that will be used in all of our industries that will come into our professional networks, our private networks, our schools, our industries and our offices. What I wanted to epitomize with the Internet of Bodies is this notion that we will be under assessment, we will be under measure of computation in every aspect of our lives in the future. From what you eat, who you date, what you buy on the internet, um, how much energy you use, but also what are your vital signs, how well are you doing in terms of health, uh, what kind of specific genetic quirks do you have, what's your genome telling about your health, about your mental health, mm -hmm. about how well you are doing, how well you are aging, what kind of disease you are sus susceptible to. It has a bit of an Orwellian twinge to it. Well. <laughs>